Hi friends, I have a five minute upper body workout for you. You're gonna need two light dumbbells. Ideally, I'm gonna use my threes, but you can also do this body weight. I'm always a fan of body weight workouts, so I think it'll get challenging you. If you don't have weights, you can grab two water bottles. Like I said, I'm gonna use my threes. All right, we're gonna just move continuously. I'm hitting the stopwatch, grab my weights, just start with a nice, simple lateral raise. I say simple because it's not easy, it's gonna get hard pretty quickly. Perfect form this entire time. So belly button to spine, shoulders down, chin up a little bit. And about every 30 seconds, we'll switch the exercise. All right? All right. Something I do a lot of times when I'm working on arms is stand on one foot. So we're gonna do that next. Go ahead and bring the arms up, keep them up with the right leg. All right, you're just gonna flip the arms nice and slow, all the way down, all the way up, with a pretty straight arm. My elbows are a little bent, so I'm not totally locked out. Um, if you have a, if this is challenging for your balance, your arms are fine, but your balance is challenged, you can always kickstand your back foot, or you can just struggle through it, and that's how you get stronger with balance. All right, five more seconds. Stop the arms, switch the leg, slowly bring the dumbbells together, and then open. You can give a little squeeze in the back there, um, again, going back to balance, something that helps is pushing your big toe right into the ground. Think about all of your toes kind of gripping the floor. Big exhale. Big inhale. Nice job. I know these weights are getting heavy, so after this we're going to drop the foot so we're on solid ground, both feet. Good. Simple bicep curl. We'll probably do this for a whole minute with some variation on the form. Again, check in. Make sure your belly button's in. Make sure your shoulders are down. And when I say that, I mean shoulders are not creeping up like this. They're dropped. As we get tired, they tend to hunch up a little bit. Keep doing your bicep curl, but peel your shoulders open even more so the dumbbells are sort of going to the side wall. This is one that if you don't have weights, it'll probably not feel that hard. This shoulder stuff gets hard, even body weight. Um, for the bicep stuff, maybe not as hard, but that's fine. The other stuff will be hard. Keep going. The whole time you, you're pinching your shoulder blades behind you. And even though this is an upper body workout, you might as well let your feet go a little bit apart, and then we're going to do some cat raises. I have to do them at the same time. I think maybe that's pretty normal. Um, don't know that I could do a cat raise faster than a bicep curl. Maybe it's a good challenge for the brain. Keep going. Do about five more seconds of this bicep curl. Then we'll go on to triceps just so that we're nice and even. All right, bring the weights together. You're going to let your hands drop and then extend. And on this one, it's so important that your elbows stay in. If you start to lose that form, it's not gonna be that hard. Try not to let your rib cage splay out, so kind of tuck your hips, pull your belly button in again. Pull your rib cage in, if that makes sense. And we'll do triceps in a couple other positions. This one isn't my favorite. It's a nice one to start with, but I prefer to bend over with a really, really flat back and extend the arms from Nice and slow. And you're just basically staring at the floor at the edge of your yoga mat. Head's not up or all the way down. You just want it neutral. So if you stood up, it would look normal. See if you can lift your hands a little higher. <clears throat> On the next one, straighten out the arms. Keep them there. Flip the palms. Just hang out. Take a deep breath. I know these weights feel so heavy. For me, they feel like, I don't know, eights. And we're just gonna drop an inch, lift an inch. We only have one minute left. We're gonna do this for another 20 seconds, a little faster. And then we'll do a postural exercise for the very last one. I sort of think of all of these as postural exercises as long as you're in good form. But this one that's coming up is really specific. So in five seconds, you stand all the way up. up. Stand nice and tall, bend two right angles, just open and close. This is how we end our five minutes. 
I so appreciate that you take the time to jump into these little five minute workouts. I love stringing together a whole day of multiple five minute workouts. And when I say a whole day, I mean like 30 minutes. It's not all day long. All right, 10 more seconds here and we are done. I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate you working out with me. That's five minutes. Put the weights down, grab one arm across and the other arm. Jump into a much longer stretch if you can. Thanks again. Hope you have a great day. Bye.